Well, hello to all of my students. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Jay and I have the opportunity on today's lesson to help you with your English fluency, comprehension, and a few English vocabulary words. Now, I thank you for all of the new subscribers and always I love to learn where you are watching from. And on today's lesson, I have the opportunity to do a read and repeat lesson about Algeria. I have had so many different subscribers let me know that their homeland is Algeria and there is a lot to learn about Algeria. But today we're going to read and repeat just a few things about this beautiful, beautiful country. Now, as always, I want to invite you, if you're not a subscriber, to turn on that uh, notification bell and subscribe. So when I go live, which is about once or twice a week, you can be notified and join me in a live lesson. So I hope you're ready to have a good time. Let's get into today's lesson with a little learning and some laughter. Now, this here is the flag of Algeria. Very, very basic, but I love how the colors jump, the white, the red, and the green. Notice how beautiful this country is. I have not been to Africa yet, okay? I hope I can go before I leave this earth. <laughs> this is one continent uh, that I would like to take a vacation to. Oh, that is so breathtaking. Look how beautiful that is. If you're from Algeria, let me know, is it as pleasant as it looks in this picture? This is breathtaking. Okay. Here's another picture I found on the internet of Algeria. And I must say, I am liking what I am seeing. So let's do a little read and repeat and learn a little bit about Algeria. Algeria is a fascinating, fascinating country to visit in North Africa. Fascinating. Now, something that is fascinating is astonishing. Okay, it's something that is wonderful. Okay, something that is pleasant or something that you will enjoy, something that is interesting. Okay, so you might say, My trip to Algeria was fascinating, or I was fascinated to learn different things about Algeria that I did not know. Let's read and repeat this sentence Algeria is a fascinating country to visit in North Africa. It has a diverse landscape that includes the Sahara Desert, making it a unique destination for those seeking adventure. Diverse, diverse. Now, when something is diverse, it means that it's not all the same, okay? There are different things that make it unique. It's diverse. So you could say that the team was made up of diverse heights of people. There was short, there was tall, diverse, many different types, choices, or alternatives. Now, I remember learning about the Sahara Desert in in grade school <laughs> i remember learning how large the sahara desert is as well as the heat index or how hot it is okay something that is unique is it's different it has special qualities okay that set it apart from other places or other things it's it's diverse it's unique okay 
And so when you consider something that is unique, you can call it special. Uh, it's something that stands out. Okay. Unique, unique, or just simply unique. Let's read and repeat this, this sentence. It has a diverse landscape that includes the Sahara Desert, making it a unique destination for those seeking adventure. Now, like always, can you find the compound word in this sentence? A compound word is two words in one. Compound word. Landscape. That's correct. Landscape. Two words. Land and scape. The capital city, Algiers, is known for its beautiful Mediterranean coastline and historic architecture, including the ancient Kabash district. And I hope I'm saying that correctly. K Kabash or Kabah, Kasbah. That that's what it looks like. Kasbah district. Okay. Architecture has to do with building structure, building design. Okay. Architecture, it could be curvy. It could be uh, triangular, it could be a different shape when you talk about architecture. Something that is ancient, ancient is very old, okay? Usually not just tens of years or hundreds of years, but something that is ancient is thousands of years old, okay? So you can have ancient artifacts, ancient buildings, um, ancient literature or paintings, something that's very, very old and can be worth a lot of money or considered priceless. OK, let's read and repeat the capital city, Algiers. Is known for its beautiful. Mediterranean coastline. And historic architecture, architecture, including the ancient Kasbah district. OK, can you find the compound word in this sentence? Take a quick look. Coastline, that's it. Coastline, two words in one coast line okay here we go with some words that may be hard or difficult for me to pronounce but bear with me okay <laughs> visitors to algeria can explore the tassili in algier i think that's how you say it national park a unico world heritage site known for its stunning rock art and prehistoric landscapes. Excellent. So of course, a visitor is someone that does not reside in that area. Okay. You're visiting. I would be considered a visitor to Algeria because I am from the United States. Okay. Stunning, stunning, something that is stunning. It's 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 an amazing thing to behold. OK, it's something that catches your eye. OK, a woman may say, oh, we that man is stunning. Or I may say, man, look at that woman from Algeria. Oh, she is so captivating or stunning. OK. Prehistoric is somewhat similar to ancient, something that's very, very, very very old. OK, let's read and repeat. Visitors to Algeria can explore. Let's just say the National Park, <laughs> a heritage site known for its stunning 
rock art and prehistoric landscapes. Excellent. Oh, that's so beautiful. The country is rich in cultural diversity with influences from Arab, Berber, and French traditions. I did not know that. I did not know that Algeria had influences from Arab and French traditions. I did not know that. So it's a country that is rich in diversity and rich in culture. All I know is it looks like it is a beautiful destination. Now, like every destination, you're going to have some places that are an eyesore. Okay, when you look at them, they're somewhat uh, not that stunning. <laughs> but for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty sure when you come upon the tourist locations, uh, those are going to be sights to behold. Okay, let's read and repeat. The country is rich in cultural diversity with influences from Arab, Berber, and French traditions. Wow, I am really learning something. Algerian cuisine, 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 offers a variety of tasty dishes, such as, uh-oh, cascos, is that how you say that? And baklava, I know about baklava, providing a delightful experience for food enthusiasts. So a food enthusiast is someone who likes tasting or trying different foods. Now we call them foodies. OK, I'm a foodie. OK, I don't mind trying Italian, American, Algerian, French. So you'll you'll go from one place to another trying different foods. OK, uh, let's see. Baklava. That's as far as I know, it's a dessert. I like Mediterranean food. I like um, we consider it Greek food. So I like to eat lamb and lamb kebabs with the rice and uh, lemon and chicken with rice soup. Uh, I like Greek salads with the olives. Ooh, I'm getting hungry <laughs> and baklava. I love it. It's a dessert. How do you describe it? I know it has honey. Uh, I don't even know all of what's in baklava. All I know is it tastes good. Let me see. What is in baklava? It's really good. Let's see. Nuts, spices, dough. I mean, of course, that sugar, water, butter, pistachios, and lemon juice. Okay, yeah, baklava is really nice. I really enjoy it. Let's read and repeat. Algerian cuisine offers a variety of tasty dishes. Tasty, something that's pleasant to eat. is mm, mm, tasty. <laughs> Such as couscous, is that how you say it? And baklava providing a delightful experience for food enthusiast. So that's going to do it. Real, real short, brief read and repeat story about Algeria. Oh, bless up to all of the people from Algeria. I believe we call them Algerians. I hope I'm right. <laughs> so bless up to you. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe and let me know down in the comments section if you haven't already. What country are you from? Let me know down in the comments section because I love learning about new things. OK, again, make sure you subscribe as well as turn on that notification bell so when I go live, you can join me in a live lesson. Hey, I thank you so much for hanging out with me on today's lesson. Be sure to join me on my next English lesson where I have the opportunity to help you improve your English. 
My name is Jay. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.